As I go out networking on social media, I'm finding it hard to figure out what exactly it is that people do. I'm finding that people are using jargon, long, confusing lists, or nothing that leaves a clue to who they are and what they do. Why does this matter? Well, just like people form opinions about us when we meet them face to face through nonverbal clues, in other words, our appearance and dress and body language, they do the same thing online when they look at our profiles. Based on what they see, they will determine if they want to engage or do business with you. You see, if you aren't clear about what you are offering or doing, you're confusing them. And the truth is a confused mind does nothing. Let me see how I can easily fix that for you. Hi, I'm Lorna Rasmussen, and I'm devoted to helping you build a profitable business so you can live the life of your dreams, whatever that dream may be. For me, it's living here in Costa Rica. Now, I have a question for you, and I'd love to have you put it in the comments below. What is your dream life? Whatever it is, my guess is that your business is part of your plan to live that dream. So you are likely, as I was in my business, looking for every way you can to be successful. You're putting yourself out there to make a difference, to impact people's lives, and yes, to make money. So when I look at your LinkedIn or your Facebook profile, do I understand what you do? Not what company you represent, nor what products you're selling, but what do you do to make that difference, to make that impact, and by doing so, to make a difference? All too often, I'm seeing this. Entrepreneur slash skyrocket your business slash health, wellness, and wealth slash skincare, abundance, spiritual life. That was all under one person's name. These look like lists that they put up with the hope that they will hit the mark with somebody. Please believe me, I'm not picking on these people. I'm simply pointing out that by listing everything you do, you leave people not knowing what it is you do. But then the opposite is also true. Under some names I've just seen recently, I'm seeing wellness advocate. And I'm wondering, what is that? Is it a job title? A declaration of what's important to them? What does it even mean? And then you end up thinking, either consciously or unconsciously, am I a prospect for whatever it is that this person is offering? The truth is that when we engage with someone, we want to know what's in it for me. Why would I want to do business with this person or even get to know them? One of the reasons you see these confusing descriptions on LinkedIn is because in the beginning, and it still continues, LinkedIn is viewed as a place to find employment. So people write their headline, the information under their name, or their about section as if it was a resume. Unless you're looking for a job, this is not helping you with your business. Your business is what you want to highlight. And there are some creative and effective and non-confusing ways to do this. And simple adjustments to your profile can make an enormous difference. So this brings me to an offer I want to make you. I want you to present yourself in such a way that people say things like, I need to speak to her. Or she gets me. Or I need that. So here's my Thanksgiving gift to you a LinkedIn profile audit. Basically, we'll get together on a call, a Zoom call, and I'll go over your LinkedIn profile. I'll give you input on how you're coming across and some things you can change. And finally, ways to take advantage of the resource that LinkedIn is for you to build your business. Just click on the link below and let me help you make an impact, not just on LinkedIn, but everywhere you are. This is the first and critical way that you are branding yourself. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video because I believe that this profession we're in is the best way for women to make money and make impact.